the bhartiya nyay sanhita is a new penal code that was passed by the indian parliament in december 2023 it replaces the indian penal code which was first enacted in 1860 the bns is intended to reflect the changes needs of india in the 21st century and to address some of the shortcomings of the ipc the bns retains most of the offenses from the ipc but there are some significant changes for example sedition is no longer an offense instead there is a new offense for acts endangering the sovereignty unity and integrity of india terrorism is also a new offense and it is defined more broadly than in the ipc the bns also introduces some of the new offenses such as organized crime cyber bullying cyber stalking cyber harassment cyber terrorism the bns also increases penalties for some offenses such as rape and murder in addition to changes to the offenses the bns also makes some changes to the way that the criminal justice system works for example it introduces community service as a form of punishment and that provides for some rights for victims of crime some people have welcomed the changes saying that they are necessary to make the criminal justice system more effective others have criticized the changes saying that they are too harsh or that they infringe on individual right it is too early to say what the long term impact of bns will be however it is clear that it is a significant change to the indian criminal justice system criminal law bills replacing ipc crpc and evidence act received presidential assent the three criminal law bills that sought to replace the indian penal code the code of criminal procedure and the indian evidence act have received the assent of the president of india on december 25 2023 this marks a significant shift in the india's criminal justice system here's a breakdown of the key developments passing of the bills the bills were first introduced in the lok sabha on august 11 2023 they were subsequently referred to the parliamentary committee for the review the lok sabha passed the bill on december 20 2023 rajya sabha passed them on december 21 2023 presidential assent the president of india draupadi murmu granted her assent to the bills on december 25 2023 this means that the bill have now become law replacement of colonial era laws the three new laws that have been enacted are the bhartiya nyay sanhita bns replaces the indian penal code the bhartiya nagrik suraksha sanhita that's bnsss replaces the code of criminal procedure the bhartiya saksha adhiniyam that's bssa replaces the indian evidence act the key changes are while the full details of the new laws are yet to be published in the gazette of india some of the key changes that have been reported includes the gender neutral language in the bns provisions for plea bargaining and compounding of offenses in the bnsss to expedite the resolution of cases recognition of electronic evidences and digital signatures in the bssa to align with the technological advancement enhanced penalties for certain offenses such as terrorism and sexual assault expected impact the government has stated that these new laws are aimed at modernizing the india's criminal justice system making it more efficient effective and aligned with the contemporary needs it's anticipated that these changes will have a significant impact on the investigation prosecution and adjudication of criminal cases in india next steps the government is expected to release the full text of the new laws soon legal experts and practitioners will need to carefully study and analyze the new provisions to understand their implications the implementation of these laws will also require training and capacity building for law enforcement officials judges and other stakeholders in the criminal justice system this is indeed a major development in the indian legal landscape
President Draupadi Murmu giving assent to the three new criminal bills, the Bharti Naya Sanhita, Bharti Nagrik Suraksha Sanhita, and Bharti Saksha Act, marks a significant shift away from the colonial era laws they replace. These new laws replacing the Indian Penal Code, Code of Criminal Procedure, and Indian Evidence Act of 1872 have been met with the both praise and criticism. Here are some of the key points to consider. Modernization. Proponents of the new laws argue that they are more modern and relevant to the contemporary India, addressing new forms of crime and streamlining their procedure. Human rights concerns. Critics, particularly opposition parties, raise concern about the potential human rights violation due to the provisions like increased sentences and mandatory minimum punishment. Transparency and fairness. Questions has been raised about the transparency of legislative procedure and potential for the misuse of certain provisions. It's important to note that the implementation of these new laws will be crucial in determining their efficiency and impact. Public debates and scrutiny will be essential to ensure that they truly serve the purpose of delivering the justice and upholding the human rights. Criminal law bills replacing IPC, CRPC and Evidence Act received presidential assent. This is Meera Verma for Legally Speaking.